As rescue operations improve, are pirates keeping up? 56-year-old Brit Judith Tebbett was freed Wednesday in Somalia after being held in captivity for more than six months by pirates. But as The Telegraph explains, Tebbett's friends and family are reported to have paid a ransom of $1.2 million to secure her release. It was airdropped into central Somalia. Very relieved to have been released. Seven months is a long time. Tebbett was taken while on holiday. Although she is thrilled to be released, ITV News says Tebbett's return is bittersweet because her husband was killed in the raid. It brings to an end the loneliness Judith Tebbett described in captivity. But she must still face returning to her family home without her husband. CNN reported that local authorities were also involved in negotiations with Tebbet's kidnappers. They quoted a Somali official saying, the Somali government will assist in any way it can in the capture and the arrest of the kidnappers who murdered her husband and kept her hostage since September 2011. British authorities were reported to have been less involved in Tebbet's release. According to a spokesman for the Prime Minister, it did not pay ransoms and did not facilitate concessions to hostage takers, but had met the family regularly to discuss the case. However, as governments have become more accustomed to hostage situations, the Daily Beast says pirates have stepped up their game as well. Various groups of pirates have begun to reinforce pirate security by shuttling their hostages to different areas to avoid detection. For Newsy, I'm Anna Campaign Romero. Multiple sources, the real story.